Yes, good morning. We have the pleasure today of interviewing Dr. Ana Luisa Hoffling, a professor in the Escuela Paulista in Brazil, and she's also the president-elect of the Pan American Association, and she will be taking her new post in 2013. That's right. And we're here today in the fourth state-of-the-art meeting at the Bascom Palmer. This is a meeting that has been um, helped um, by Allergan for these past four years. And we're here with Dr. Ana Luisa to chat with her a little bit about her experience in this Paxos cornea and ocular surface group. Um, Dr. Hoffling, what, how have you seen the development of the group during these past four years? The most important thing, uh, uh, I believe, that's the friendship that we were able to develop. Uh, I was not so familiar with several doctors around the Latin countries in my area. Uh, we have seen them giving lectures in Pan American courses and National Society courses, but being together as a family for three or four years in a row, it's very good because you know that you're going to see them again next year uh, if we are alive, but uh, it's, it's good because you start a, a very good friendship in, in this situation that we repeat the same model of the meeting with the same people every year. Wonderful. Um, how has being part of this group helped, impacted your practice on a daily basis? Yes, uh, since we are in a university program with very good new developments uh, being studied, uh, the participation of the Paxos make us discuss what we have in our community and compare with what we have in the different countries and also to associate the differences in the cultural manner of taking care of patients and uh, this always is improving because since we are in U.S., we have the new technology from U.S., the discussions how we can apply the new technology in the countries that are not so wealthy as U.S. is, and how we can discuss uh, with our patients the new situations in uh, technology and techniques. Um, and what specific problems of the cornea do, we s do you see in Brazil that maybe you don't see in other regions or in the U.S.? I think we don't have a, a big difference. We have some infections that are more common in Brazil than in other countries. And we have a facility of having a micro lab in Brazil as you have in U.S. Uh, and several countries will not going to have uh, a good evaluation of those patients. But uh, there are some situations that we can see outbreaks of several diseases in different regions. So we, we have the opportunity of being together every year to discuss what was new in our area on that year mm -hmm. and uh, discuss new issues for the next one. Any message uh, for young ladies who would like to become ophthalmologists as they enter this field? Uh, I know you're going to, are you going to be the first woman president no. of the, or have no, there the been other, Latin. the first Latin American yeah. woman president of the Pan American in 2013? Yes, my recommendation for the women that wants to be an ophthalmologist is that we have an excellent specialty for them to be able to continue taking care of their lives, having their families, and having their academic position, and having their clinical practice. So you can do everything. You have to just to choose the best of your interest and make your dream come true. Thank you so much, Dr. Ana Luisa. Hope to see you again next year.